All right, God bless everyone. So I just had this dream and it was a, a room full of people. And these people represented the church. The dream told me that they represented the church. And I told them and I was smiling with a huge smile on my face. Praise God. And I said to them, what the Lord wants, praise God. Lord, help me remember this exactly. Thank you, Jesus. What the Lord wants is for us to set our house in order. To set our house in order. And when I... Well, let, let, me, let me finish saying this so I don't forget. Set our house in order and show that we are a workman of God that needed not to be ashamed rightfully dividing the word of truth. So I said to the church, what the Lord wants is for us to set our house in order and to show that we are a workman of God, rightfully dividing the word of truth. And the dream announced that I was being shown, that God was showing people me because I was an example of what he wanted them to do. I was an example of that. And let me go into this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this dream. And when I said, set your house in order, I had a knowing in a dream that I was referring to our physical house. Like, I know we have to set our spiritual house in order too as well. Praise God. Don't get me wrong. I've done dreams about the spiritual house and I will put them in the description box. Praise God. But in this dream, when I said, set your house in order, I knew that I was talking about our physical house, making sure that we are physically, our houses are physically prepared. And also I knew that I was saying this for the coming of the Lord. Like the dream told me that, that I was saying to prepare for the coming of the Lord. We need to set our house in order. And I knew I was talking about our physical house. And we need to show that we are a workman of God, rightfully dividing the word of truth. Praise God. And of course, you know, rightfully dividing the word of truth, show that we are workmen of God that needed not to be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth. So when we minister to people, that's, this is what it means that needed not to be ashamed part is because when we are ministering to someone, when we are being asked questions about our faith, that we can minister to them with the wisdom of God's word so we are not ashamed. Praise God. This is what the dream said. And the dream literally told me that people was being shown me because I was an example of what was expected, of what was needed. It literally said that. Now, I'm going to be honest, as God in heaven hear me, I woke up and I started not to record this dream because I... I knew that that would upset some people, that it would be upsetting to people when I say anything good about myself. So I, I said, I don't want to record it. I'm not going to release that. And the Holy Spirit immediately told me that would be being ashamed of the gospel. And let me explain what being ashamed of the gospel is. Um, just a quick side note, and then I want to finish the, what this dream means. Being ashamed of the gospel is being afraid to say, the gospel because you know you're going to get a backlash. You know that people are going to attack you. Okay, that's what it means to be ashamed because some people think that being ashamed of the gospel means that they're not ashamed to say the Bible. That's what they think. They think it means that they're not ashamed to read scripture or tell people that they're a Christian. And that's only a very extremely small part of it. Because the Lord literally taught me, I'm not just saying this out the side of my neck. He literally taught me in the past that being ashamed of the gospel means that when he calls us for it to say what he wants us to say, which is also the word of God, praise God, the living word of God. And we don't want to say it because Jezebels are going to rise up. People like that, Ahab spirits and things like that to rise up and attack us. And we know that they will attack us or we expect that they would and not saying something because of that. And it's not even just Jezebels and Ahab. Sometimes it can just be professing Christians that don't 
understand what you're doing. They don't understand what you're saying and they could attack you. And so if you shy away from speaking the word of God in those moments, that is being ashamed of the gospel. That is literally what God taught me. And that's what he said to me again today when I started not to record this dream. And I'm going to re release this one right away. I am working on several things, you guys, several things. And I give God the glory. Thank you, Father. Now, I want to finish explaining the last part of this dream. I was told in this dream that I was being sh like it was literally announced in the room, the room where we was at, that I was being shown. Praise God. This is what the dream said. I was being shown to people because I was an example of what was expected, of what was needed. Now, I didn't say that. Praise God. That did not come out of my mouth. I would never say that. Yeah, I mean, the truth of the matter is I am doing the gospel. Praise God. And I give God the glory. But at the same time, and I have to say this as if I'm an example, right? At the same time, I'm constantly working on my physical house, constantly working on organization, working on, you know, making sure that my house is ready for the coming of the Lord and getting rid of clutter. I literally, within the last couple of days, uh, gutted my room, seriously, just gutted my room. So yeah, I'm just gutting my room and working on painting my room and uh, getting my room in order, praise God. So um, that's what I'm doing. And I'm constantly working on my house. I've already did the other rooms, literally did every other room in my house before I got to my room. My room was less. And doing that and I'm doing it to be ready for the coming of the Lord. So I don't have a bunch of clutter and, and, and mess and, you know, just getting rid of a lot of stuff and just being ready. So I give God the glory. So I have to say that. And then also in terms of the word of God, always studying the word of God and the Bible is used by the Lord as he constantly teaches me, you know, what to say. And lastly, I want to say that people have been having, a lot of people have been having dreams about me lately. It's crazy to me. I don't know what's going on. And there was a lady on my Facebook channel who commented to me and she said that she had a dream that I was a model of what was expected. That's what she said. And other people have been having dreams about me as well. And the takeaway is to make sure you guys that you are preparing your physical home as well. Of course, you know, spiritual home goes without saying. Make sure you are physically, your physical home is physically prepared for the coming of the Lord. And also uh, making sure that you are really studying the word of God, ready to minister. Okay, that that's the whole point. When this thing goes down, there's going to be people that are going to want to be ministered to. I discussed that in a previous dream. It was actually the dream that I had about the pandemic when God showed me that it was going to come. And I was talking to a lady in China first, and then I was talking to a lady in the U.S., which showed me that it was going to come to China first and then the U.S. And I had that dream before we had this pandemic. Praise God. And I did post that dream. But in that dream, God showed me that people was going to start questioning him. They was going to start questioning Christ and coming to the Lord and being ready. And God is saying that if we are going to discuss anything with them, we have got to know his word. Okay. That is a requirement. It's a requirement to be ready for the coming of the Lord. Can you show the Lord that you can use his word to minister? That is the question. I really pray, God, Lord, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, God, help mercy, Jesus, help the people to really, really get that, God, to do that, not to just understand these words in this dream, but to really perform what is required in Jesus' name. Now, you guys, I'm going to be honest, I have other dreams that I need to release. I have a video that I've been working on. I'm also very busy working on my home. This dream showed that, you know, God does want me to say that because he wants other people to do it as well. 
I want to get this one out right away, right away. This is way too important. Yes, I, I had a dream. God showed me some fantastic things, praise God. But this is for the church. This is needed right away. I want to stop everything else I'm doing. The other video I'm working on right now is also vitally important, but it requires a lot of research and uh, to get it out. And that's what's taking me so long. But this one, I can record this one right away. So I want to add this vision also that happened to me today as I had this dream uh, that you all just heard this morning. And then I went to drop off my daughter at school. And as I was driving back, I saw this vision. Oh, wow. It was intense. It was Jesus. And I'm telling you, he took up the whole sky. He took up the whole sky and I couldn't even see his face because his face was like above the earth. I could only see like his torso and he had his arms folded and it was just muscles, just very muscle bound. And the bottom part of his body was underneath the earth. I mean, it was really intense. I was in shock. Like <laughs> it was a flash vision. And I had a knowing in the vision that this is how he is coming back. He is coming back as a reigning champion king. He is full of authority. Let me tell you something. I was literally terrified. At first, I was just in shock by the vision. But then I was then as I was thinking about it, as I'm driving home, I was that's when I got scared. Like, oh, my goodness, he's he's going to be full of authority. Like it was just hitting me like he's going to be full of authority. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. It was just hitting me like he's going to be full of authority, full of authority. And I was starting to panic. And then the Lord spoke to me and I was in shock by what he said. He said, oh, stop. <laughs> I'm not even joking. He was like, oh, stop. And I was like, oh, <laughs> it was just it was kind of funny, but you know, this is what this is all about. Praise God. I was not even going to add the vision to this until I was sitting here working on the edit for the dream that I had this morning. And it hit me that this is related because this is what this is all about. He wants us to prepare for his coming. He is giving us instructions on how to prepare for his arrival he is supreme. He is sovereign. He is not playing with us. He is full of righteousness, full of authority. Hallelujah. And he let me see that today. I mean, this vision was intense. It was surreal. Anyway, I love you all. Please, you guys, listen to the Lord. Listen, I fear God. I fear God. I love you all. Bye.